we're going to be so forceful in denouncing socialism, why is the administration so high on communism? Yeah, I mean, the, 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 the very statement there is pretty outrageous. Well, I'm talking about North Korea, sir. Um, the most perfectly realized communist state in history, a, a country where the state owns everything and everyone, and yet the administration is repeatedly referring to how it has, quote, awesome economic potential, how it can become an economic powerhouse, quote, unquote, without changing its system, simply by giving up nuclear weapons. And so my question is, why are you so confident in the capacity of a communist state to provide for its people? Let me, let me just back up for just a moment. We, we have both the toughest sanctions on North Korea in the history. This administration built out this coalition against this nation. The previous administration didn't do it, didn't take it seriously. This administration has done that. And I'm very proud of what President Trump has been able to do that. We have the toughest sanctions while still engaged in some of the most serious negotiations and diplomatic efforts. And our mission set, our mission set is in fact to get the proliferation risk reduced, to get North Korea denuclearized, and then to, our commitment is to say, at that point we want a brighter future for the North Korean people. What the form of government that will take place there will, will, will evolve over time. We have, we have seen countries in the region who haven't fully transformed in the way we'd like, countries like Vietnam, be able to grow their economy and provide better for their people. Uh, we, we think that opportunity exists in North Korea as well. well look, I'm, I'm asking because there's a whole lot of rhetoric about liking Kim Jong-un, falling in love with Kim Jong-un, Kim Jong-un being our friend. Mm -hmm. And so let me ask you, why is liking Kim Jong-un a sufficient reason to cancel or not to pursue sanctions against companies helping his nuclear program, as the White House said last week? I'm Sorry. quoting the White House there. There have been more sanctions put in place by this administration with a global coalition than at any time in the world's history, sir. And yet liking him is cited as a reason not to do more. And, and, and sir, Let me ask sir, some, we will some simple, we will continue, simpler yes or no I, I, questions. Well, I, if I may, we will yep. continue to enforce the UN Security Council resolutions and do our best to encourage every nation in the world to do so. I only wish the previous administration had undertaken this same effort. Well, actually, it... it did. Now let no, me ask they, you these sanctions, yes these sanctions no were not in place, sir. It's is, just, that's factually inaccurate. Is Kim Jong-un responsible for maintaining North Korea's system of labor camps? He's the leader of the country. Is he responsible for ordering the execution of his uncle, the assassination by chemical agent of his half-brother? Uh, he's the leader of the country. Was he responsible for the decision not to allow Otto Warmbier to come home until he was on death's door? Um, I'll leave the president's statement to stand. He made that statement. We all know that the North Korea regime was responsible for the tragedy that occurred to Otto Warmberg. I've met that family. I know those people. I love them dearly. So they, what's suffered, to like? they, suffered, they suffered mightily, sir. So what's to like? They suffered mightily, sir. So what's to like about Kim Jong-un? Sir, don't, don't make this a political football. It's inappropriate. It's inappropriate to do. Well, when the White House says that sanctions decisions are based on liking Kim Jong-un, has the president ever used that kind of language with respect to Angela Merkel? Has he ever publicly called her a friend? Uh, I've heard him talk about her that way, yes. I, couldn't, I don't recall if it was in a public setting or not. Okay. Um, let, let me go back to the, the questions. There have been a number of questions about uh, Saudi Arabia and the Khashoggi um, killing. Um, is, do, do you believe that the Saudi authorities, the most senior Saudi authorities, are capable of Investig investigating themselves for uh, a murder that has been attributed to them. Uh, I think the most important commitment that the United States can make is the one that I spoke about uh, earlier, it would have been earlier this afternoon, which is the commitment for the United States to conduct its work and hold every person responsible. That's what the United so we'll States... We'll base our judgment on our own assessment. Y yes, sir, that's what Thank we've you. done to date and it's what we will continue to do. Thank you very much. And if, if Saudi Arabia's cover story here if their story is that this was a rogue operation, do we not risk reinforcing that cover story if all we do is sanction the rogues? The henchmen, the people I, who have made, been accused I've made, by the Saudis I've made themselves. very clear, as, as has President Trump, we are continuing to develop the fact set using all the tools that we have at our disposal and as we identify individuals who we can hold accountable for the heinous murder of Jamal Khashoggi, 
we will do so. Thank you.